Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo group. Recently in the fans of Serif Software Facebook group Phyllis E. Baker wanted to know if there was a way to of adjusting the exposure of one person in a picture or part of a picture and put this picture up as an example um, now she did want it as a tutorial for the iPad version of Affinity Photo which I don't have and I really don't know how close the iPad version is to the PC version um, but I will show you what I did using the PC version and hopefully the iPad version is similar now there are various ways of doing this and other people have made various suggestions going from using dodge and burn and selecting a certain area and doing that that way and I did leave a, a message about using the layer mask which is the way I'm going to show you to do this now so there is more than one way to do this so you know, if you don't like this version you can try other versions so getting on with this tutorial I've grabbed this image from the Facebook page so it's not necessarily the best quality picture um, but you're starting with the original it should come out better now I'm assuming I really don't know but I'm assuming that it is the adult picture that she wants to make darker rather than the child's picture that she wants to make darker um, hopefully that makes sense so I'm going to assume that I need to make the face of the adult a bit lighter so it's more visible next to the child. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an adjustment and I'm going to add, you could pick it, you could probably go with um, levels maybe or even brightness and contrast but for this purpose I'm just going to go with exposure now I'm going to make an alteration here it's going to affect the whole picture but I'm only really going to concentrate on the face of the adult here so I'm just going to move this to the right and just brighten this up a little bit I'm not going to go too far Go about 1.4 roughly, and then I'll just close that down. So, in the layers panel here, you can see we've got the original picture, and then we've got this exposure adjustment. Now, the icon here is a layer mask, which is a white layer mask, and a white layer mask would allow all of the effect to show through. So, if we paint black onto this layer mask the black will hide any of the effect of this adjustment so if I come to the paintbrush tool and black is your foreground colour I'm going to start with quite a big brush to start with and I'm also going to start with a hardness of 100% and I'm just going to paint over the area that I don't want that adjustment to have any effect on. Being careful not to come too close to the area I want to keep with such a hard brush. Right. Go to there, and then I will now lower the hardness all the way down to zero, and this will give me a soft edge brush and then I can come in a bit closer and how close you want to come in it depends on the image that you're working on and how much effect you want this to have really so that's not too bad of and so if I turn that off and on, as you can see, I'm only affecting the face of the adult and not the whole picture. 
you could also tone that down slightly by altering the opacity say down to about 40 percent see again if I turn this on and off and that's that basically it really I'm hoping that is what Phyllis was after um, if not maybe one of the other uh, options that were mentioned on the Facebook page you know dodge and burn or selecting an area and then altering it but for me that is the quickest and easiest way of doing what she was asking for so thank you for watching and goodbye